Hello students, welcome to our classes. Today we are solving Alpha C Chiang books uh, exercises and this is chapter 7 which I am doing today. It is uh, rules of differentiation and their uses in comparative statics. So differentiation plus comparative statics. So find the del y del x1 and del y del x is very easy. So 12x11 so dy dx1 dy dx2 anything you can do a basic derivative so first one i'm just not doing so it's a very simple derivative find fx and fy on the following so this is also the same kind of stuff so this is also partial derivative so del f del x is 2x plus 5y In the second part, uh, this is a derivative uh, associated with this. So, denominator and numerator we can do it separately. Yeah. So, now this denominator type will be so denominator square. So, it will be. Yeah, basic structure here so this derivative of the numerator so with respect to x obviously 2 minus numerator derivative of the denominator that is 1 okay so we can reach to this minus 2x my plus 2x 2y minus 3y so y by x plus y whole square so these are basic derivatives uh, next is this you can do this also uh, just putting the values so now from question 4 there is a little bit uh, good thing is happening so Q is this MPPK and MPPL so marginal physical productivity of capital so that is del Q by del K that is 0 0.396 K to the power minus 0 0.7 L to the power 0 0.7 MPPL del Q del L so 0 0.796 K to the power 0 0.3 L to the power minus 0.3 so this is the second part done ok question 5 in the utility function of the individual takes in the form where u is this find the marginal utility of function of each and find the marginal utility of the first commodity when three units of each commodity is been purchased so very similar so u1 del u del x1 so 2 into x1 plus 2 x2 plus 3 is cube u2 is del u del x2 3 into x plus 2 whole square x2 plus 3 whole square ok so this is the part and in the second part this is the a part in the b part we have to put this value so 3 comma 3 so u1 equal to 3 comma 3 so 2 3 plus 2 3 plus 3 whole q so 9 27 so this is 2 1 6 0 so 5 is also done now let's go for question 6 total money supply aim has two components uh, blank deposit and cash holdings okay that's good next okay we are the constant c plus d of c the high powered money h is defined by the sum of the holdings and the public and the reserves so express the money m in terms of the high powered money so m equal to d plus c c equal to small c into a d so m equal to d plus c into d so 1 plus c whole into d so since h high part money equal to c plus r so this is c of d r of d so c plus r whole into d so we can write d equal to h by c plus r so this is by substituting so we can have m equal to 1 plus c c plus r 
all into h okay next part would an increase in the reserve ratio lower the money supply so this we need to do del m by del r del m by del r so minus 1 plus c into h and c plus r square so this is negative so if r lowers m next this how would an increase in the cash deficit ratio will affect the money supply so this is one will be dc you just insert a page so this time it will be dm dc so h into c plus r denominator 1 plus c into h denominator square c plus r square so h into r minus 1 and c plus r square this is negative so increase in c also lowers m so c rises m falls next the last question of this chapter is question number 7 so write down the gradients of the function so gradient is nothing but you have to differentiate okay let me just clear the page So for gradient grad f of x y z is nothing but so this is the first derivative 2x 3y square and 4 z cube very similarly the other two part this is y z x uh, y x z and x y So grad of x, y, z also we can write it in this way. So this is the end of the chapter 7 exercise.